have y'all noticed the world is everyone's getting really angry the world is a very dangerous place right now it's not just narcissists psychopaths just a-holes in general just people just looking out for their best interest and yes it's always been that way but when society when things get hard when inflation is up when everyone is out for their own needs because that's i mean that's always how people are but especially a narcissist when you've dealt with a narcissist you've seen what human what a human being is on steroids that narcissist that stole all your money that broke your heart that lied and cheated and manipulated you into becoming this traumatized puddle of yourself that is what human beings are we all have that capacity within us we all can be narcissists we can't well yeah we can't all have narcissistic personality disorder because that's a very deep-seated disorder that happens like from a very early age if you are in your teenage years you know early adulthood or adulthood and you haven't you aren't a narcissist then it's pretty much impossible to become one you could take on the traits and characteristics of one but see when things get tough people are going to throw you under the bus narcissists or not and narcissistic women are going to do this the most i ran into a legitimate woman with narcissistic personality disorder and i thought it was this concentrated set of people because honestly i was looking for trouble i was in a very bad place myself i was drinking every day pretty much every day i was doing all the bad stuff right drinking drugs um promiscuous sex um gambling like every every bad thing you can think of i was doing it so when you do when you hang out when you do those type of things you end up hanging out with those type of people degenerate gamblers drug addicts criminals and the type of people that gravitate to, towards that behavior usually are narcissists sociopaths so i believed i believed that it was an anomaly that i had just run into that like what 3 5% that they say of npd people but i'm trying to think that's bs especially this always happens if you have ever read a history book during the great depression there were people like there were people who started like robbing banks and started doing all these like very horrific criminal behavior right hurting people and why is that it's because you see the narcissistic personality disorder it's a disorder because it doesn't align with what society is when but in reality if you really get into like the deep moral philosophical stuff about what is npd and like psychology in general there's not necessarily something wrong with a narcissist it's just that their behavior is not acceptable in society if a quick hypothetical if there was no laws if there was no jail system the narcissist would probably be a very successful person at least in terms of survival of getting what they want that doesn't mean they're a good person in just even the general sense right most people stuff so, i'm not going to get into a philosophical debate with with uh, <laughs> with with the viewers but being a narcissist isn't a good thing in just in general i have had points in my life where i was very narcissistic and i ended up running into more people like that but there are good people out there it doesn't it doesn't mean that everyone's a narcissist that everyone has a personality disorder but as society progressively gets worse and maybe this is just an american problem because i live in america 
And even worse, I live in LA. So that just, even before like this whole wave of like, MP, people talking about MPD and things getting worse, you know, like post pandemic, LA was already a very narcissistic place. And I would always see and kind of run into people that were like that. And maybe it's like a chicken and egg kind of thing where I believe that now because I know so much about narcissism and personality disorders that I just see them everywhere. It's quite scary. I, I really, I don't know. I don't know if I'm just seeing the narcissist in everyone or if, if I had just been walking around with like blinders on. You know what? Nah, that's BS. Maybe it's the type of people I hang around. Maybe it's the times we're living in. But there are good people out there. And if you are a more normal person, if you hang out with like just regular people, right? Not like <laughs> degenerates and like crazy. I've always been like this very high, not like I pride myself in just knowing that I've never, I've never left the house thinking I'm going to hurt someone or I'm going to steal from someone or I'm going to like manipulate this person into giving me this. I've always just, I've always had addictions, right? And stems back, you know, a lot of empaths deal with this because, you know, I've grown up around narcissists and probably most empaths have grown up around dysfunctional environments. It's why you are the way you are. But I've always just had to feed my addictions and that ended up, it wasn't, I would say that I'm not a bad person, but it made me end up hanging out with bad people and I guess I got, I went through the school of hard knocks and I got a first class, a, you know, a first front row seat to a class on degeneracy, narcissists, sociopaths. I've met all kinds of crazy people. And I can tell now, now that I read all the books, now that I dated one and like realized what this is, it, they're everywhere. They are everywhere. If you go out, go out to like a nightclub, go out to like those those type of environments, you know where I'm talking about. A bar, um, you know, smoke shop, right? Like a skate park, something like that. And I'm not saying those are just necessarily bad places, but you can feel this energy in the air. People are all very on edge. And it makes sense. That it's just a base, it's a very basic psychological thing if when times get tough people's survival anxiety gets higher and that's basically what a narcissist is their survival anxiety is through the roof they live on a very low plane of existence that's why they're always angry even though they, they'll mask it but you, you you saw eventually right that angry spiteful mean person that was hiding under that mask they're always paranoid that someone's out to get them because some people are when you go around hurting people like that you know people are i, I mean i've, I've solved myself i and it makes sense if you're going around screwing people over people not not everyone's going to be as nice as probably like a lot of empaths who kind of like turn another cheek or just try to move on and you know most people plot revenge. And what does that say about most people? It means that most people are narcissistic or on the very, at the very least, most people have a bent towards destruction and chaos. Don't, <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm, I'm tired of preaching to everyone. I'm just going to tell you the, the straight up facts and that is narcissistic people are becoming more narcissistic and it's gonna get worse before it gets better if you wanna whatever strategy you choose if you wanna join them to beat them which I guess could work but that's, that's a pretty miserable existence you could hide from society go live in a cave somewhere you could become you could do like what i'm doing which is as what's the what's this what's the bible quote 
as wise as a serpent, but as gentle as a dove. I'd say it's the best approach. Don't don't turn into your abuser, but there, see, that's the thing. Everyone has something to teach you. And I, I'm not going to lie. I, I'm kind of grateful, even though it's horrible. Like, I'm grateful for what happened because it's made me better in so many aspects of life. Sure, it, <laughs> I I went through like this horrific trauma bonded experience, but and I think you know I was just dealing with like a ninety pound girl, even though <laughs> it was a very psychologically damaging experience. I wasn't in any like real danger, maybe right? Even though narcissists can straight up want to like unalive people. My narcissist talked about it all the time, but I was so delusional that I just thought, oh, she wants to hurt other people, not me. <laughs> yeah, right. At this point, we gotta take a play, we gotta take a play out of the narcissist book and adapt, adapt to the world, this the narcissistic world we're living in find what works for you and just do that. 